Uh, someone called from jail lobby. That's kind of weird. Someone's calling from a different location at the jail lobby, advising her boyfriend fell and is requesting help up. So his girlfriend is handling something at the jail, and he's over here, Nick Wright. It'll be those apartments. It's the one where we went to that DOA on that one day, remember? This is gonna be at the end. Gotta be somewhere right here. Somewhere in here? Yeah. It looks like. All right, this is cool. There's Medicaid is on Fire department! Fire department! Hello, ma'am. Do you guys have any lights on in here that we could yeah. turn on? Yeah, he turned them all on. Yeah, can we turn them all on? What's going on? You've been sitting here for three hours? No, I just is it just you two in here? What's your name, sir? Is it just you two? Yeah. Nobody else is in the house? No, the human beings are in the house. No human beings. Are you guys arguing? You know, I just tried to call 911 for a long time. You know why? Why? Can you come out here? Can you come out here, please? Ferris Medic 86. Okay. How are you related to him? Okay. Do you guys both live here? Yes. Okay. Why is he on the ground? Because he had um, hip surgery. But how did he get on the ground? He was went into. He got into the chair. It took him hours to get into the rolling chair. Okay. Then he gets in. You know, rolls himself in there. Tries to take a shower. Can't get in the shower. And then he just fell. And then he rolls around and, you know, I can't even tell you what he does. So he fell in the shower and then he rolled out over here in my yeah, yeah, yeah. All... How, how long ago has it been since he rolled About out? three hours. At least three hours. Have you been here the entire yes. time? Yes. So That's just whenever I had to call 911. I had to go all the way to the jail. Okay. Because I can't call 911. Why? Okay. Because he has other numbers. Okay. I can't call 911. Why can't you call 911? Why can't I call 911? Because... He has my old number that has FBI warning child porn on it. Oh. But my, it goes there. How does it go there? He's, I don't understand that. Interesting. And it goes to somebody else, and that's recorded, so you'll find out who that is. All right. Well, you have a good night, ma'am. Oh, yeah. I'll have All right. Oh my God, you need him. Yeah, he doesn't want to go. He doesn't want to go. My, my partner assessed him. He doesn't look like he's injured. He's coherent. And he has the right to deny any medical emergency or medical service or transport. Okay. Um, uh, kind of an interesting call. This uh, sounds like a gentleman fell while he was trying to get out of the shower. And uh, she basically dropped him and he fell. He wasn't hurt, doesn't uh, complain of any pain. He's answering all questions appropriately, no obvious signs of deformity or anything like that. So uh, we basically just helped him off the ground to get up into his chair and he didn't want to go to the hospital. So uh, that's it. I wonder where dispatch got that she was from jail. Cause she was over there. Oh, she was? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause she couldn't use any of the phones. From here? Yeah, she said she can't use oh. any of the phones. So she can't call 911. Oh. So she had to go all the way to the jail and call from the jail. So that's why it took her forever to call 911. Dude, I would have just went and knocked on a neighbor's door. We've received a call for an unknown odor at a residence. The things that cross my mind are sewer, sewer gas, sewer smell. Uh, it could be natural gas and the caller just doesn't know the smell. So we go in with our multi-gas detector. We're gonna sniff out the area and see if we get any readings on that. We'll also use our own noses to try to identify the smell. Uh, Brent, would you hit that alley over there? Yeah, I'm smelling like. It's down that way. Go that way. That smell. Okay. Is that what you're smelling? Yeah. Go that way. So. Uh, this can read, this can tell us if there's any dangerous gases in the atmosphere, and it kind of gives us a percentage, an idea of what's going on. 
Uh, but right now, it doesn't seem like what we're smelling is something that would be picked up on this. Right there. I smell. I smell again. Do you smell like manure? Trash. Yeah. That's not trash. That's a dead body. Yeah. All right. How do we deduce this one? Well, I suppose now we start looking for a dead body. Could be an animal, could be a person. Cats live in there. Does that smell like death to you, Patty? Yeah. I'm assuming I don't need this thing anymore. <laughs> oh, do you think it's rotten food? It might be. Start poking around the weeds. It's coming directly from this. Oh, that's a dog. Yeah, we're done. Let's go home. Mm. It's a dog. What led you to that? The bones? Size? The bone structure. Mm. We can take a boot to line hose it down. We totally could. That's what I was just thinking. So we responded for a call for a suspicious odor in the area. There is a animal that's been run over multiple times and is now flat and smells terrible. Um, my concern is that we are the only agency to handle this because the street department probably will not send a street sweeper. The refuse department won't do anything with it. Um, so we are going to attempt to flush it down the sewer. Is it turkey? Oh, OK. This is definitely not what I thought of when I was in the fire academy. And just a little context, Brent is the biggest germaphobe, and he is hosing this down like it doesn't matter. I'm never touching that hose again. Male advised he had to jump out of his girlfriend's window, and patient stating he was assaulted by his girlfriend's father. He's conscious alert, but he did jump out of a window, and now he's with PD, secure scene, and we will see what kind of injuries he has. Car window or a, like an apartment? It sounds like a uh, apartment or a house. Jeez. Guys, don't forget your vest since we're out on the street. Okay. Ambulance is already here. Uh, what happened, bud? Um, and then he's got so we're arguing with my girlfriend and the mom. Okay. And I guess the dad heard, and the parents don't like me at all. Okay. We're just trying to settle things down, and we're just trying to settle things down, and I had to get out. And then I guess the, the dad and the uncle were trying to break the door. They had to push him out of the room. Oh. We we're gonna start fighting, you know. Can we um, clean up just his arm, um, yeah. Brendan? Yeah, yeah, my hand. Yeah. Is it a second story window? It's a first story window. Oh. There's a trailer, so I jumped up into the trailer. So I didn't. Onto the trailer. Is that yeah. how you hurt your arm? No, I break the two windows. With your arm? Yeah. Okay. With my hand. We're going to run you over to the hospital, okay? Get those cuts, especially with glass. You know, when you break glass, they got to make sure all the glass is out, okay? So they're going to get you all cleaned up. They'll probably take x-rays and make sure the glass is out. Glass. OK. There's some blood on his phone. Here, let me get this. So it looks like rather than get into a physical argument uh, or a confrontation with the father, um, he actually broke a, a window, jumped out the, the window, uh, and then took off and ended up here uh, at the corner. And uh, the police were called. So um, nothing from the fall. It was a one-story house, so he just kind of got out of the window. Um, and he's got some um, couple lacerations and needs some stitches and a lot of glass. So we got to make sure that all the glass is out, uh, that he keeps those wounds clean, gets those stitches done, and uh, and then go on. Hopefully everything works out for him. Yes, all right, bud. Good luck with everything. Okay. Thanks, sir. It's tough. I've got two daughters at home, and uh, I hear arguing in one of their bedroom. I'm going to be a little bit upset and worried about my daughter. So we're getting one side of the story. Hopefully they can work it out.
We're responding to an auto versus a motor scooter. 45 male with facial injuries. So it looks like, yeah, it looks like he's up and about. Looks like you got some cuts on your hand there. Yeah, are, are you hurting anywhere? Not at all. Well, my ears, apparently my ears took a little dive. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Do you remember what happened? The a little spill coming down the way. OK, which direction were you going? Coming this way. So you were coming this direction. Yeah. OK, and, and what happened? How did you take the spill? Ran in the side of you? You know what? I, I don't recall. OK. okay I'm going to take your hat off just yeah. for a second. Yeah, sure. Right? Any pain here when I touch you? No. Any pain here? Yeah. How about here? No. Anything here? Nah. OK. Anything there? Nope. All right, Justin, so here's the deal, man. I can't recall what happened, all right? And that's very, very concerning. Well, no, I remember getting hit by the car, but it wasn't a, to me, it wasn't a big deal. Okay. You got a huge knot on the back of your handles. I really don't want to go to the hospital. I don't think it's necessary. You could have a brain injury, and you meet trauma criteria. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm in trauma. What's well, that? I have had a couple of yeah. so yeah. that's yeah. it. But at the same time, I don't feel like I'm in a trauma situation. You absolutely have them. I'm going to take a bottle of Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Hey, Justin. Yes, sir. We're going to take you to the hospital, OK? It's the end of the story, OK? Yes, sir. All right. We're just trying to do what's best for you, and I think we know what's best for you right now, OK, man? So just go with what we're telling you. Ah, we get that. He is under the influence. It sounds like he was coming from the uh, brewery down the street. And uh, he did have what we call positive loss of consciousness. Uh, and he did actually get hit by the vehicle. Um, so that obviously concerns us. So we're going to take him over to the local trauma center. Oh, my wife's going to kill me. Uh, no, she'll understand. Nah, you don't know my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Justin, you need us to call her for you, man? No, God, no. All righty. <laughs> no, no, no. Fair enough. Oh, I will send her a yeah, all righty. Hey, what's up? This is Bobby. They found him. All right. He said they hit his, he hit his head pretty bad, and so he didn't want us to mess with him, so we came back here and looked at him. He has two lacks on the back of his head, and his arm right here uh, had that old nasty rotten bandage right there, so be careful. Yeah. Yeah. That, uh, he's got some maggots, and uh, he's got some severe swelling in his left hand. Gotcha. Uh, got no real medic history he wants to tell us about. No no allergies, no meds. He's been drinking. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, right. you're good, you're good, you're good. You're all right. Uh, We're here been, to help you, been, Bobby. Yeah, he's drinking smoking. He wants to get some help. All right, awesome. OK, buddy. Hey, do you remember what happened? Did you lose consciousness at any point? He answered all my questions. He answered Perfect. All right. We're, we're going to help you over the stretcher, all right? It's all right, Bobby. We're, we're going to get you some care, buddy. Uh, universal precautions, guys. Okay. Sounds fantastic. Got it. Appreciate it. Whoop. Nope. Hold up. Okay. Hold up. Okay. Just take a couple of steps this way. This yeah. I'll put your butt crack on this crack right over here, on the stretcher crack. Oh, oh all right. There we go. There we go. Well done. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you for me. You want me to lay it down? Yeah, lay it down. All right. Go ahead, man. Lay down. Get comfortable. You got a sheet right there. Pulse is about 85, and he had a radio on. All right. I left it at that. How long, how long uh, has your yeah. arm been swollen like that? He said the last time he changed the bandage was a week ago. It is for the talk out of I'm sorry, one more time. How bad were the lacerations? You said two on the back of the head. He's got two, 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 two loose eggs like this. Try to lay in the middle of the stretcher. Okay. My luck. My luck. Your what? My sorry. My hey, Bobby. You hurting anywhere else? You guys check his neck, back, all that. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, All right. Bobby, he didn't, he didn't want to mess with it. For you, well, he, on. Yeah, pull Bobby, up, pull the mask up for us. Pull this up. Right here. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. All right. Y'all help us four corner this thing. Hey, Bobby, get on the actual stretcher. Stop trying. Stop Stay leaning off. All right, brother. Hold up. Hey, man, do me a favor. Right. Turn on your back. Turn on your back for me. Hold up. Hey, I don't want him to try to. Your back. This way. Lower it a little bit. Yeah, yeah, Just like that. There you go. Man. There you go. There you go, man. There you go. Get a ladder. 
Huh? A lighter? Your lighter? Yeah. You can get another one. Hey, Bobby, yeah. all your possessions are on the other side of the building. All right, everything's going to stay right there. All right, buddy? Hey, guys, I'm Matt Eisman from Live Rescue. Subscribe to A&E for more videos and catch full episodes on AETV.com.